Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together the peony box. And we're going to start with the bottom of the box, and that is made up of these pieces here. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply fold this tab here, and you're going to apply glue onto that little strip there. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to use a tape gun just to kind of speed up the process. Just make sure that you've got it nice and aligned with that score mark and everything is nice and aligned. Okay, And we're going to close it up. So you want to go ahead and actually train these pieces to start forming its little six sides there. And I'm going to actually lay it flat. So you're going to add glue here. I'm going to use my tape gun to speed things up. And just make sure that it's nice and aligned at the bottom there. Okay. So we've got that in place. So I'm going to want to fold it here at the score mark. Okay. So there is the basic structure of the box. Now we have these tabs here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and apply glue to all of these tabs. Make sure that you get glue out to the edge as well. Just make sure that it's nice and seamless. Now you've got two pieces for the bottom. One has a tiny little hole in it, as you can see there. That is a liner piece, so that's going to go inside. And what we want is the non-hole piece. And you're going to pop that right on top. Now, since it's six-sided, you have to kind of inch it around and make sure that you get everything to line up nicely. Just work one side at a time. Make sure it's nice and lined up. And then once you have it in place, you can flip it over and push in from the inside. Okay. So once you have that in place, go ahead and put glue on the entire surface of the bottom there and just slide and slip your little liner piece inside to finish it off to make it nice and pretty and also add a little bit of stability. Okay, So that's what it should look like there inside. Now the next step is to take your little decorative piece here and there are little score marks on it to indicate where it goes as far as the edges. So you want to make sure that you just get that nice and lined up. It should be Perfect. So you're going to glue that down. And of course, there are two of these. You're going to repeat that same process with this piece here. Okay. So that's what that should look like. Now we've added little sticky pearls um, just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick two sides to glue our little fake. Um, bow or ribbon actually that will eventually connect to a bow on opposite sides to give the illusion that it has a bow on it. So just make sure that's nice and centered. That's going to get glued over this little decorative element like so. Okay, so you just get that glued down and we can go ahead and move on to the lid. Now the lid pretty much goes together the same way with the exception of the panels that we've included. Now you've got this large panel that's going to get glued and centered right on the top of the lid. Now there's two pieces like this. One has a hole in it. As you can see that little hole there, right there. This is your liner that's going to go on the inside. So your panel piece is going to get glued onto this piece. Okay, so you can go ahead and get that glued on. And then you have these little liner pieces, or these panel pieces I should say, that you're going to simply glue on to the lid of your box. You can ink them and then go ahead and get them glued into place. Now, I'm not actually going to glue them, I'm just showing you where they go. And then you've got that one piece that has that little square edge there. That's for your, your faux bow, faux ribbon. Okay, so get those glued into place. And then also, uh, you can actually, I would wait to put this on, so don't put that on just yet. Okay, so get your panels all glued on. And we can go ahead and begin assembling the lid. 
And all we're gonna do to do that is we're gonna place glue on this tab here, okay? So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna use my tape glider and just make sure that that's nice and aligned. And that looks good. Okay, and we can take this and start folding it at the little score marks. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and take, again, my tape gun. You can use a tape gun if you'd like. Glue's gonna do a lot better job. I'm just using a tape gun to save time so you guys don't get bored. And you're gonna glue that in place. And again, I like to do this flat because I know that if it sits flat, not only do I have uh, a better visual on alignment, but I know that it's gonna be perfect. Okay, so that is that. I'm gonna fold that at that score line that we just glued down and start forming our lid here, okay? So just like we did with the bottom of the box, we're gonna take these tabs and fold them down. And again, you've already got your panels on everything. So that part is done. And we're gonna take our glue you wanna make sure that you get the glue out to the edge there. Now what you can actually do, if you wanna grab a Q-tip or if you have gloves on, I know that sometimes if you just take your finger and just rub that glue up to the edge, it's gonna ensure that you get a nice sealed look. Okay. Just to kind of diffuse that glue a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. I like to flare these out a little bit. So as you put the lid on, it kind of grabs more surface area, ensures optimal hold the first time around. And again, just like we did with the base, you might have to kind of nudge the pieces around a little bit just to make sure that they're nice and flush. And once it gets that initial grip, and go ahead and flip it over and push from the inside. Just like that. Okay. And then you can take and put glue all inside there and pop your liner in to finish it off. Give it a nice clean look. Add some stability. And there's your lid. Okay, so my liner just popped out. But that is how that works. Now these little decorative pieces that we have on here, they do make it a little difficult to put the lid on, but it's not impossible. It's actually not even that hard. Okay, so there's your box. And now, again, you're gonna have, you're gonna have this piece on here, okay? And we also, again, you're gonna take these two pieces that are part of the ribbon or the bow, and those are gonna get glued on right there. And then you also wanna make sure that you glue this piece on right there as well, okay? And then on the other side, you're gonna glue that piece down. So that is the basic construction of your box, which just leaves our flower. So let's go ahead and discuss how we put that together. Okay, so let's start with the green portion of the flower. Now, as you can see, I kinda of took apart the original here so that you can see the way that we inked it and the way that we folded and creased everything. You can kind of see and pick up on the details and the dimension there. So you can ink it to your heart's desire. You know, uh, again, it uh, looks like we've got the ink here more towards the center and then kind of have a gradient effect working its way out, okay? And then what you're gonna do is just kind of, just pinch these leaves and give them some dimension. We've got some score lines in there for you to help you achieve that look, okay? So you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna do that with all three, and just kinda overlay them, glue them together like so. As you can see in our final one here, that's kinda how we have it. Now we also have this piece here. It's gonna go right on top, okay? Okay, so for the floral portion of this, you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, there's five different pieces. These two are 
This one's the largest piece. They kind of just go in order. You've got the largest, the second largest, and then you've got the third largest, fourth. Actually, these two are identical in size. And then this last piece here. Okay, we've got holes in the middle to kind of help you with the alignment. Okay, and as you can see from our, uh, the one that you saw in the photos, okay, um, you can kind of take a look and see how we did the inking there. Okay, we kind of inked from the center, also inked the tips on both the inside and the outside, just kind of leaving like a nice little gradient effect. Inking the tips really does help liven these up and um, kind of bring them to life and give them more dimension and so on and so forth. So have fun with the inking. And then with these, what, what you want to do is you kind of want to just train these so that they curl up. Okay, because you really want, you don't want them to be flat. So do your best. You can use your finger. Um, if you have like a pencil or something round like a pen or a small dowel, you can use that to kind of curl these up. Okay, and you may want to kind of do more of the training towards the center to really get them to stand up. If you train towards the outside, you're just going to be kind of propping up the outside. So try to train it more on the inside. You see the difference there? If you train out here, it's still kind of flat, but if you train it more towards the center, it really props it up, okay? And all you're really going to do is you're going to put glue within the little score line area. And you're going to repeat the same process with inking and training. And you're just going to offset these, okay, until you've got your flower. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of training so this thing sort of looks like our final one, especially when I get to the stamen piece, okay. And again, all you're doing is just kind of inking and training these up, bringing them to life. Just like that. And then you just, when you glue them down, you're just offsetting them. And just continuing that process. So as you can see here, this thing's looking a little flat. So I'm taking my pencil and I'm really going to train this thing to give it some life and just kind of apply pressure there. There you go. You see how it's really perking it up. I want it to be nice perked up. There we go. That's really bringing it to life. There we go. Now it is coming alive. Okay, so again, you're gonna repeat that process and just get these glued down, just kind of alternating it, using that center hole as a reference as far as where to position it to make sure that you've got it nice and centered. And just go from largest to smallest, okay? Offsetting the design there. So let me actually get this glued in place so that I can show you how the stamen piece works. And finally, can go ahead and put together our little stamen piece. Now, while it's flat like this, this is a great time to do your inking. Okay, just make sure that you ink both sides. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a pencil and I am just gonna simply start wrapping this around itself. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. And as you do that, these little pieces are going to start to kind of flare out and detach themselves from their neighbors. Get it nice and tight. Okay, so I've got it wrapped nicely. You can kind of let it loosen up a little bit. Just kind of add a little bit of width to it. Now, once I've got it like that, I can go ahead, put glue on this little piece here, and just kind of glue it to itself. 
and just hold that in place until it dries nicely. Okay, just keep holding that in place. And now while you're actually holding it, you can go ahead and start taking and ruffling these out. Okay, and we'll do a little bit more detail work in just a minute when this thing's nice and dry. Okay, so that's got a good grip. And now I'm just gonna take my pencil and really just train these so that they flare out beautifully. You can kind of even push them down and out. There's really no wrong way to do this, and it's going to come out beautiful. Okay, so that is what I came up with in just a few, in just a minute, roughly. Okay, and you can take these little center pieces and kind of fold them in just to add a little bit of interest on the inside there. Okay, just like that. And finally, all you're gonna do, you're gonna need to actually put a nice glob of glue around the edge of this thing. Okay, just like that. And find that center, place it right in the center, let that dry. Okay, so there's your flower. And all that's really left to do is take your glue and apply some glue to the green part there and get that to stick okay this is like a fun project you can really get creative with the inking and and all that and then finally all you're going to do is just glue that or pop dot it probably prefer glue or maybe even some hot glue to the top of your lid and that is your peony gift box Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.